iCloud Drive can be used to store and sync files between your devices that also have iCloud Drive activated. To view and organize files in iCloud Drive on a Mac, we'll use the iCloud Drive folder here in the Finder sidebar. On iOS devices, we'll use the Files app. Here in iCloud settings, I have iCloud Drive turned on. If this wasn't activated, the iCloud Drive folder wouldn't be appearing here in the Finder. Notice that the Desktop and Documents folders option is also activated. With this on, the Desktop and Documents folders that would typically exist within the User Home folder on the Mac are moved into the iCloud Drive folder. This allows for everything stored in these folders here on the Mac to be accessible within the Files app on my iPhone or iPad. Next, we're able to control which apps are able to sync using iCloud Drive. The main reason we'd want to turn any of these off is if a certain app is taking up a lot of space in our iCloud Drive. Deactivating that app will reduce the iCloud storage usage. Everything that we store on iCloud Drive will count against the iCloud storage allotment. If I turn on Optimize Mac Storage, if the Mac hard drive fills up, then older, less used files will only be stored in iCloud and not on the Mac's drive. This can be a good option for Macs with smaller hard drives, but if you're offline, certain files aren't going to be accessible. Over on my iPad, iCloud Drive is also activated. Jump into the Files app, and we can see here in iCloud Drive that the Documents folder will match up to what I have on the Mac. The cloud with the down arrow icon means some or all of the folder contents have not been downloaded to this iPad. Just tap on one of these and it will download, assuming that the device has an internet connection. Tap and hold on a downloaded file, and we're able to remove the download from this device. It doesn't delete the file, though. In this case, that will leave the full file in iCloud and on my Mac. If I move this essay document into the desktop folder, that's going to occur over on the Mac as well within a few seconds. I could then quickly move it back into the Documents folder from the Mac Finder. So iCloud Drive can be a really great way to have access to all your files from any of your devices. You can learn more about using iCloud Drive in our Core Concept Tutorials for Mac and iOS along with the Files app tutorial.